Hello and welcome to the EQmatic tutorial video. It will guide you through the most important steps during first commissioning and will describe menu navigations and features of your EQmatic system. For accessing your device for the first time, start the free of charge iBus tool, click the connect button, and then the button IP devices. Then select the detected EQmatic device of your choice. Hit the Open Website button and enter your login data. Congratulations! You are now ready to start commissioning. From here, you just have to follow the instructions of the commissioning wizard. Read and accept terms and conditions to proceed. Enter new password two times and hit Next Step. Network settings can be done manually if necessary. By default, IP address will be given automatically via DHCP. Date and time settings can be done manually or automatically via the NTP server. In the next step, you can enter desired currency, unit and cost per unit for each medium. This step is optional and can also be done after the installation wizard within the management section. To scan for devices, enter your scan configuration with the respective speed range and address range. ABB meters will be detected automatically after a scan and are already configured. All detected meters will be shown in a flat list. The meter scan can be skipped during first commissioning and can also be performed after the installation wizard within the meter management section. Here additional information, like meter name and place of installation can be given, or data points can be configured in detail if necessary. Once the meters are detected and configured, your EQmatic system is ready for operation and further commissioning. To create a metering structure, just go to the Management menu and select Metering Structure. The metering structure allows you to configure virtual meters and metering points according to the logical building structure or physical installation. Here you can add nodes or simply drag and drop them within the tree structure. On your dashboard are the following widgets available. Instantaneous values that visualizes real-time data of your installation. Usage split that depicts cost split for the selected period according to consumer groups. Historical data for cost and consumption data. A bar chart of the consumer ranking to identify the five biggest consumers in your installation. And an info widget that contains all total values and key performance indicators of the respective medium, like total cost, energy consumption, amount of power generated, carbon emission, and save costs. Simply add and configure the widgets to use them on your dashboard. Dashboards can be created individually for each user. Move or resize them onto the dashboard to individually arrange them. To view in-depth analytical data, just select the meter or building node from the metering structure, the respective medium. For example, electrical energy, gas, water or heat, depending on connected meters. Then select your desired time period for analysis on the calendar or via the time slider, or simply via the time presets buttons. Simply choose the data type and the chart style you want to be displayed in the respective drop-down menus. You can export the analysis as a JPEG image, an Excel file, as a CSV file or as a PDF. In addition, configured analysis can be stored as favorites and recalled for quick access from the menu bar. To view the split of cost or usage, just follow the same path by selecting the meter or building node, the medium, the data type, and the period of time. The usage cost split can also be exported to the supported file formats. To view instantaneous values, Again, select the meter or building node, the medium, then the desired data type provided by the meter, and hit the eye icon to view instantaneous values in a serial chart. To look at the analysis of a specific benchmark period, 
Again, select the respective node or building. Then the medium, data type and chart options, and periods of time to compare. File export options are identical. To compare single energy consumers, you can select up to five meters or building nodes from the metering structure. Then select the medium, data type and chart style, and the desired period of time for your analysis. Within this feature, export options to external file formats are possible too. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.